Hi, my name is Mark and I'm a full stack engineer at GitLab in the Plan Project Management team. And I'm excited to show you one of our key workflow improvements in GitLab 18.2, Configurable Status for Issues and Tasks. For too long, teams used the binary open and closed system, forcing you to use labels as workarounds to track where work actually stands in your process. You've had to guess whether a closed issue was completed, cancelled or duplicated, creating confusion and making accurate reporting challenging. Today, I'll show you how Configurable Status solves these problems by giving you precise workflow tracking that goes far beyond open and closed. This feature is available in the 18.2 release for issues and tasks in GitLab Premium and Ultimate tiers. So let's dive into it and see what you can do with it. So first, let's look at the status widget on a work item. We've set up some useful default statuses for you right out of the box. I can easily change the issue status to in progress with a simple click. Notice how GitLab automatically creates a system node showing that I set the status to in progress, giving you a clear audit trail of workflow changes. You can also use quick actions in comments. I'll type slash status to do and the status updates immediately. This makes it fast to update status during your regular workflow. You can also use the quick action in comment templates to make you even more efficient for recurring tasks. And here's something useful. You can now see the status of linked items at a glance. This gives you immediate visibility into a dependent work without having to click through multiple issues. Now, let me show you how status and state work together seamlessly. When I set the status to done, the issue automatically closes. This eliminates the manual step of closing completed work. If I change it back to to do, it automatically reopens. The same logic works in reverse. If I close an issue using the traditional close button, it automatically sets to the default close status. Reopening sets it to the default open status. This keeps everything in sync without any extra work from you. Issues and tasks get a status by default right from creation. When I create a new issue, you'll see it automatically gets the default open status. No additional setup required. Your workflow tracking starts immediately. Let me demonstrate something valuable for data hygiene. I use the duplicate quick action, slash duplicate and then the link to an issue. And it marks as duplicate while automatically setting the status to duplicate or closing the item. Now you can see the exact closure reason for any issue or task. No more guessing whether something was completed, cancelled or duplicated. This gives you precise data for reporting and analytics. In the list view, you can see status for all your items at once. You can also see status on the issue dashboard view, my issues, though filtering isn't available there just yet. But Here's where it gets really useful. You can filter by status in project and group issue lists. Want to see only items in progress? Filter by in progress. Want to find all duplicates? Go to the close tab and filter by duplicate status. This makes project management and reporting much more accurate. Now, let me show you how bulk edit makes status updates even more efficient. I mark some items and select the status I want to apply to all of them. This is also great for setting up status for existing items. Status also integrates well with issue boards. I can create board lists by status and simply drag items from one status column to another. As I move this item from to do to in progress, the status updates automatically. Your visual workflow management just got more powerful. And finally, let me show you how to manage statuses for your entire organization. At the root group level, you can customize the lifecycle for both issues and tasks. I can create new statuses with a custom color. Let me add a needs review status with a purple color. I can rename existing statuses to match your team's terminology. And I can also delete unused statuses that don't have any issues or tasks assigned to them. The default open status is what gets applied when you create new items or reopen closed ones. The default closed status is what gets applied when you close items using the traditional close action. You can reorder statuses and change 
which ones serve as the defaults based on your workflow needs. These changes apply across your entire group hierarchy, ensuring consistency while giving you the flexibility to match your organization's unique workflow. As soon as I save these changes, they are immediately reflected throughout the application. The new statuses become available in the status widget on all your work items. Before I wrap up, let me share what we are planning for future iterations. Please note these are forward-looking statements that may be subject to change and should not influence purchasing decisions. We are planning to expand support to EPICs and EPIC boards, then to objectives and key results. We'll also introduce multiple life cycles allowing different workflows for different work item types. And eventually, we want to enable lifecycle management at every hierarchy level, letting you override life cycles for specific projects when needed. That's configurable status for issues and tasks. This feature is available now in GitLab 18.2 in Premium and Ultimate. Try it out with your team and let us know what you think. We are looking forward to seeing how it improves your workflow management. Thanks for watching and take care.